guys give you goosebumps and make your skin crawl just looking at them, think about how you'd feel sharing your bed with them. Over the last decade or so, bed bugs have made a comeback of sorts, invading our homes and turning up at low dollar as well as high dollar hotels from coast to coast. You might be wondering why all of a sudden bed bugs are showing up more and more. Well, a lot of research is going into that why question, why these creepy pests have seemingly returned with a vengeance. So we decided to check with an expert, and we found one at NC State University. But we suspect that what's causing it is, is, is a combination of, of global, globalization. Travel is relatively inexpensive. Um, a lot more people travel now than did 30 or 40 years ago, obviously. Bed bugs primarily travel passively by crawling into human belongings and being transported with human um, um, furniture, clothing, purses, pocketbooks, backpacks, you name it. Scientists all over the country are now involved in bed bug research. As you might expect, many of them are working on the biggest question mark regarding bed bugs. How do you get rid of those little suckers? Dr. Shaw believes that information gleaned from a piece of research here and another piece of research from there will lead laboratories to find the best answer to controlling these pests. One of the more important aspects of Dr. Shaw's research is genetics. To be able to understand where the bed bugs start in one apartment and spread to other apartments or continuously invade the structure, we have to use genetic tools. It's the only way to address this. And what the genetic tools allow us to do is then to identify sources of infestation. So there may be a person in an apartment building that on a regular, uh, regular basis visits a bed bug infested place and brings bed bugs. And, and no matter how much you invest in bed bug control in an apartment building, that person or several people will continuously bring bed bugs back. Next up, why do they like us so much? We know that the high temperature of the human body, we attract, um, the, te the high temperature attracts bed bugs. Um, we emit, through our breathing, we emit carbon dioxide. We know that carbon dioxide attracts bed bugs. There are bacteria all over our bodies, and these bacteria produce odors. Bed bugs are attracted to some of these odors, some of these smells. So the chemistry side of our projects is trying to identify what chemicals and what physical features of the human attract bed bugs. Once we understand those, we can put those into traps to attract bed bugs to the tra traps. Thankfully, bed bugs are not big reproducers like some pests. Typically, a female bed bug lays only about one egg a day. There are ways to get rid of them. It's best to catch bed bugs early, not to wait for the infestation to build. Once the infestation builds up, they tend to move away from the bed and they tend to move away from the bedrooms. Um, one can use certain insecticides, although many of the uh, bed bug populations that we find in the US are resistant to the most common insecticides. The, the two treatments that are most effective, one is, is, is called a heat treatment that requires um, a professional a pest control operator coming in with very um, uh, specialized equipment, first of all to seal the structure and then heat it up to about 100, at least 120 degrees Fahrenheit and maintain that, depending on the structure, maintain that for about four hours. The, another treatment that, that, that's very effective is fumigation, but again that's a very expensive treatment. Researchers aren't sure yet if bed bugs carry infectious diseases, so that's one of the areas Dr. Shaw and his team are looking into. So our group here at NC State is now looking at what type of bacteria and what type of other microbes do bed bugs carry, first of all. And secondly, we are artificially inoculating bed bugs with some disease organisms and asking are bed bugs able to, to carry that disease organism? And when they bite, are they able to transmit 
that disease organism. Information gathered from the research is being put to good use through cooperative extension with Dr. Shaw's department holding bed bug control workshops across the state and educating pest control businesses and the public in general on how to detect and control bed bugs. So I think we need to change public opinion about bed bugs and get the public to, especially in, in, in apartment buildings, if you have bed bugs, immediately contact the building manager and do something about it before the bed bugs spread to other apartments. Dr. Shaw's biggest message? Don't let them get started. And you probably knew we couldn't end this story without sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite.